Capricorn. What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Capricorn for the month of August 2019? Are you guys feeling as if you have been left out of something? Are you getting ready to lose something? Or is somebody feeling that way about you? <laughs> hey, boo head, this is your first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. Make us a little, make us a lot. Just depend on what the hell these cards say. So, if cussing does not work for you, please feel free right now. Not into the comment section. Feel free now to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because I'm going to do that. To the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. Hey. Will it is functional. We don't fight a fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss, we grow, we laugh, we share, we enlighten, we evolve. Posy vibes only over here, all right? To the returning family members, what's up, gang, gang? Did you miss me? I miss y'all. <laughs> this will be for the month of August 2019. Guys, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the readings, the support. I truly appreciate it from the most humblest space ever. Um, this may or may not resonate with everybody. If it does not, please feel free to get a personal reading. Or feel free to find... um. Watch your sun rising and your Venus, okay? Um, what else am I leaving out? Oh, y'all feel, y'all, I'm trying to get inspired because I suck at social media. So I'm trying to get inspired to build this damn Instagram so I can actually try to do weeklies on either Sunday or Monday. I haven't really picked a date yet. I'm going to build Instagram first, then I'm going to roll over to Facebook and, <laughs> and build both Mocha Love Tarot pages on both sites, okay? So feel free to follow me both. Um, cause I, again, I suck at social media, so I'm working on that, okay? Um, also, oh, that Instagram is at mocha underscore love underscore tarot. Okay. So we're going to get right on up into it. All right. Again, ain't going to resonate with everybody. Take what does leave the rest. I talk fast. I cuss, you know, and let's hope that it resonates. If it does, leave it in the comment section. I'm appreciative for the comments. I can't answer everybody because it should be happening so fast, but I do read all of my comments and I appreciate you guys for, um, Really, just kind of give me your feedback. I do react though. Sometimes I, sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Just depending on how many damn comments up in there. Let's roll. Okay. So, <laughs> for the month of August, what I got for you all was self worth, intuitive, heightened awareness, investments, rejection, plot twists, dreams, solitude. Codependency, family matters, throw chakra, revelations, new home, hidden agendas, sudden wealth, blessed change, fear of being alone. Okay? So if these messages, those intuitive messages did resonate with you or your situation, let's talk about it. All right? Overall reading, I mean, overall energy around the reading, you guys got the four of. Uh, Parts, okay, so for some of you all, this could definitely have to do yeah with someone feeling as if their efforts are going unnoticed, feeling as if they someone feels unappreciated. They also feel as if they feel as if so, some of you guys are feeling as if you've worked so hard for something and for things to be going the way that they're going. There's a focus on what it is that you've invested in a situation, but it's it's I'm hearing I'm hearing breaking cycles. So for some of you all, this have to do with breaking cycles. So if you've had like a history, let's say that you come from um, for example, if you're having issues with uh, your partner, right? There's a sense of codependency here with the aspect of like, let's say um, maybe your partner, your mother or your partner's mother was super given. They did everything for you. They did, they provided, they, you know, and you tend to attract partners that either over give to situations or you are looking, you, you're expecting for people to overgive to situations. And I feel as if some of y'all are dealing with someone or something that kind of makes you feel as if you're not enough or feel as if they can't do enough. There's a sense of like ungratefulness here, okay, for some of you all. But I feel like it's you're receiving it, like you're receiving the energy of someone of you feeling as if someone is ungrateful of what you of your efforts or what you've put in or what you've invested okay some of you guys are feeling as if you've been a bit rejected okay you're being rejected during this time and that's not the case because know this 
God, man's rejection is God's protection. Some guys could definitely be ending cycles, okay? And this could have to do with what you look at as stability. So some of you guys, there could be talks of uh, separation for some of you all, but there's also talks of new love for others of you. Some of y'all, you're holding on to say, thank you, spirit. Some of y'all are holding on to a bullshit-ass person when you have something beautiful trying to knock at your damn dough, but you lashing the dough on the beauty and holding on to the bullshit. Why, though? How, Sway? Okay? So your angel message for the month... <laughs> Comes from Archangel Jeremiel. All right. All is well. Everything is happening exactly as it, as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings that you will soon understand. Man's rejection. That broad rejection is God's protection. Okay. All is well. Some of you all are receiving many synchronicities in your dreams. Some of y'all could be seeing TNT and a whole lot. Others of you is 555 when I was just talking. I saw it. Uh, some of you all could also be seeing fours. About the threes it has to do with changes, stabilities. Um, for some of you all, this is changes. Like there's an energy of someone trying to control how things are going to go. And spirit is saying, oh, you can let that shit go. You're driving yourself crazy. When you stop giving a fuck, things go, things go the way that they're supposed to because people show you who the fuck they really are. Remember that, okay? Some of you all, the, some of y'all got a father figure that's around you, protecting you in the month of August. This could be um, someone who could have passed away within the last four years. This could also be someone who could have also passed away with, within the last ten months. Some of you all also, some of you guys are maybe like going back and forth in your dream space, in your subconscious space between this life and a past life. Some of you all are also finding out that your medium, there's a need for you not to be afraid. You are going through spiritual awakenings and changes during this time, but this is why things are being transmuted. So if you're the type of person who's always been in relationships, there may be like some type of sudden change where you're kind of forced to be by yourself, but there's this need for you to... They're saying restructure restructure your foundation, restructure and reprogram the way that you look at being alone or the way that you look at solitude. Some of y'all are, there's this fear of being alone because you've never had to experience it. You could have came from a big family um, and could have gotten married young or could have been with someone for a very long time. And there's this sense of you guys kind of being like feeling as if you're being forced to change, but spirit is saying it's happening for you, not to you. You'll understand it at a later time. Okay. So let's get into these damn cards. Let's see what's going on with Capricorns. Love life. Here what messages do you have? My beautiful Capricorn. This is general. Oh, for the month of August. What messages do you have? Beautiful Capricorn. Whoa. Kathy, y'all got shit falling all over the place. Okay. Spirit said take these. Ooh, I'm not going to take those. But. Okay. If they got other plans, they said, yes, you are. All right, Cap. Cap has something to say. When you cross watch, you got something to say. Yeah. Some of you guys. Some of you guys are making an offer to someone who you actually view as independent, okay? Or someone who you may feel as if. Some y'all, some of y'all could be dealing with the um, earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. This person could be wanting to make an offer. They see you as someone who can stand on your own, okay? This could have been someone who you could have moved away from, okay? Some of you guys could be separating yourself or you have an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, getting ready to separate themselves. There's some type of internal conflict within, okay? Some of you all... Yeah, some of you all may be feeling as if you're dealing with someone during this time who can't really open up emotionally and give you what you need. They feel as if, and for some of you all, this person, they, they overthink a whole lot of shit. I, I see a lot of overthinking, but I don't see a lot of talking, okay? I definitely see you guys getting the truth the truth about a situation that could involve a cancer, um, as well as an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This looks to be a catalyst situation that is going to move you to the new. Some of y'all... um. Some of you guys, this page of Pentacles and this Ace of Pentacles was also just in the Taurus reading that I just did. So some of y'all could also be receiving or giving an offer to a Taurus after previously removing yourself in the past. Y'all could have actually been separated possibly about five weeks, five months. Someone wants to come back and offer you stability during this time, okay? I definitely feel like in the past there could have been a not, there could have been a situation where there wasn't an equal give and take, okay? But the, the issue is for some of y'all is that you moved on to this person who reminds you 
of this how this motherfucker used to be. It came real painted up and cute at first. But some of you guys are really kind of coming to the conclusion that you attract a certain individual. So you as we know, we are what we attract. So if you want to attract a particular type of individual, Capricorn, first become the change in which you're willing to attract. So if you want someone who's open, who's um someone who's open, who kind of pours out their emotions to you, you want someone who's receptive, then you be all of those qualities. Because people who are not those qualities ain't going to be attracted to your ass. It's going to intimidate them. Okay? Yeah, some of you guys feel as if you're over given to a situation that is pretty much running its course. And for some of y'all, you want your heart wants to separate yourself from this situation. For some of y'all, it could be a marriage, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with the Gemini Libra Aquarius. And some of you guys could actually want to renew a situation. Some of y'all could have been actually in your head about actually going through with a divorce during this time, but you're deciding that you actually want to stay there even though you feel like this. Spirit is saying, release that shit, okay? And some of you guys are going to be uh, deciding in the month of August that you do want to move away from a marriage that is codependent, a marriage that has become very closed and uh, very toxic. I feel as if you guys feel as if you have to be there possibly because you have children together, okay? I feel like hmm, people are, yeah, during this time, some of y'all could also be feeling left out or rejected, possibly by a water sign. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, okay? Some of you guys want to move forward and work it out with this person. And some of you guys are just focusing on work and using work as a, um, pretty much as a masking device as far as covering up your feelings. You're just using, you're just working and focusing on work with Capricorn, the heart still, the heart still hurts. The heart still wants what it wants. Please take care of yourself. Some of you all, there's a need for you guys to definitely um, exercise the throat chakra. Speak up during this time. I see a lot of thinking, but not a lot of talking. I feel like some of you guys, some of you guys are in a marriage with somebody. It's like you're coming home with somebody and y'all don't even fucking say a word to each other during this time. Yeah. Some of y'all been thinking about it. Especially if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius, this person could be letting you know during this time that they want to free themselves in the month of August. I feel like someone has done some long, hard thinking, and this person just feels as if they they don't they don't really. The reason why they haven't done it already, I'm seeing, is because of finances. This person is possibly waiting for something to close. Capricorn, somebody is setting themselves up somewhere else before they completely leave a situation. It's like you're thinking and you're mending trying to hold this shit together and this person is just on your planet and doing what the fuck they want to do from their love life to their finances to where the hell they going to stay. Some of y'all could also be finding this out in the month of August. Yeah. Some of you guys could also be going through some type of changes with your marriage um, when it comes to giving someone an ultimatum or someone could be giving you an ultimatum, Kathy. Um, someone is tied to a water sign Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I definitely see a lot of love in this situation. However, someone doesn't really know. Someone feels as if they can't be receptive to this love because of a marriage. that, But a marriage that is shot to shit. And instead of accepting something that is real and pure, they want to keep putting work into some bullshit. I don't know who this is. You or another person. But I definitely feel like this could be a combustion of air and fire. I mean, air and uh, air and earth. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But some of y'all, this, in, this involves a water sign. Okay, someone could also be feeling left out. Capricorn, some of you guys could also have children that could be talking about like some of y'all are. Some of you guys are really kind of worried about your children during this time as well, especially if you have children that are adults. Some of y'all are dealing with children who probably want to move out of the country or out of the state. And I feel as if you feel as if you want to try to control the situation, but it's like, what can I do? But I feel like you need to stop overthinking it because it looks to be very prosperous, okay? Let's clarify some of these major spirits. Why is the devil card here? Some of y'all are dealing with a Libra that's extremely toxic that you feel is toxic, okay? Yeah. Some of you guys, this has to do possibly with a reconciliation with the fire sign. Some of you guys could be overthinking the situation or overthinking how you could actually give equally to the situation because I feel like you want marriage with this person whether you're telling them or not. However, you kind of feel as if you're being forced to release it due to some type of um some type of conflict with work for some of you all. This could also be some type of conflict with family ties. You needed to find that balance. Someone here needs to find balance. Some of y'all could have actually got cut off by a Libra or this Libra is not talking to you during this time. It's really it's really disturbing you because you feel as if you've done so much for this person. Somebody's going to tell you they don't want to be married no more, Capricorn. They done with the shit. 
Some of y'all are dealing with someone who feels as if they've overgiven to a situation for so long. Somebody's really focusing on themselves here, okay? Yeah. Some of you guys, um, some of you guys, this could actually involve, um, the mother of your children, okay? Some of y'all, someone wants to actually travel towards you and reconcile. Someone wants to make something offer, a solid offer here, possibly to a fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like either you could have cut this person off or this person could be not talking to you. But I definitely see that going forward in the month of August in the latter half, you and this person is going to have some type of reconciliation to kind of communicate where there could be some type of compromise made, okay? I definitely feel like someone feels, feels as if a situation wasn't moving. Uh, wasn't moving for some y'all you could have been dealing with this person for four years some y'all has been nine years others of you has been six years others of you has been ten some has been three some y'all this could also be months yeah and some of you guys are going to so if you're going to make if you think about making an offer or taking an offer possibly from an earth sign capricorn towards virgo where it didn't work before i feel like why it didn't work before in the past because someone wasn't stable this person is coming with stability now, and they want it. They want to give equally to a situation, but someone feels as if they can't trust it. It's not safe. Some of y'all is gonna involve a fire sign. Very feel sad. If you're dealing with a water sign, some of y'all could intuitively know that you need to cut a water sign off, but you're having a hard time walking away from this person because of the sex. Okay, some of y'all is happening with a Sagittarius. Whoa. Some of y'all are feeling as if you need somebody to be around you. Hmm. Spirit says you've never been by yourself. Hmm. Somebody could have, someone could have lost their, um, someone could, someone could have lost their mother. I hate talking about death, y'all. Someone could have lost their mother and their daughter. Like back to back, my condolences to you, baby. You have this fear of going outside, though, like going out and being active with people. You feel as if something's going to happen to you. I do see you actually um, opening up and getting outside during this time. Y'all gonna make me cry. That's sad. I'm gonna cry. Some of you guys want to start. Some of y'all want to start a new investment, but you feel as if you're. You feel as if you're not good enough. You're overthinking it as if you don't have it, or it. You feel as if it won't be successful, but it will. Hmm. And other you just have to do it a reconciliation. You want to reconcile with somebody. You want to give equally to it. You don't know how here, so you could be watching this person. This person could be watching you, because they are your wish. Some of you guys are. <laughs> Some of y'all are trying to control how a union is going to move when it comes to dealing with a cancer, but the divine got other plans, baby, okay? And some of you guys have been trying to, um, either you or another person, yeah, you or another person, somebody could be manipulated. You could be, be careful who you share your ideas with. Don't, don't share beautiful, don't share beautiful things with negative ass people, Okay? They can't appreciate it. They don't want to, they don't appreciate your substance. And don't allow, uh, allow other people to project their negative ass way of thinking onto you. If you have dreams, if you have ambition, you have a vision, see through your damn vision. And also see through your haters. It ain't hard to take it. Pay attention when you, when you're giving out good news and motherfuckers like, that's what's up. All right. That's cool. That's what's up. It don't, it don't take long to say congratulations. Watch, you gotta watch them. That's what's up, motherfuckers. Okay. Here's the nine of pentacles here with the nine of pentacles. Some of y'all feel as if you don't want to take an offer because it's going to fuck your money up. I feel like that's what that earth sign or air sign energy here. Or fire sign energy as well for some of y'all. Hmm. Others of you, you're dealing with a, with, a, with a soulmate from a past life, okay? And in the past life, yeah. Some of y'all, something could be very beautiful. Even though some when you cut somebody off or they cut you off during this time. Something could be very beautiful, but both parties need to open up and really have a full conversation as far as intention. What are your intentions? Where is this going? What do you expect? How does this grow? How can we move this forward? What can I do? What part are you going to carry? Because I definitely feel you got something beautiful trying to manifest here. 
after cutting off this damn lack mentality and lack mindset, some of y'all could definitely be seeing five, five, five a whole lot. Changes are on the way. Changes are on the way in a relationship, in a marriage, with how you guys communicate, with how you guys think, these limited ass beliefs around what can be done, what cannot be done, who is going to compromise. It's there's a need to have some type of ego death. In order for a relationship to truly flourish in the beauty that it could have, okay? But that, that's for some of you all who are experiencing renewals in a relationship. Some of y'all need to let that bullshit go and let the beauty in. Because for some of you all, this has to do with releasing something for something new to start. But releasing it in a healthy way, not where I'm just gonna cut you off, I'm just gonna, no, getting an understanding, clarity, so that healing can occur. And something new can start. Okay? A lot of you all will possibly, some of y'all will be possibly getting information regarding someone's attachment if you are married. Someone could also be attached to an outsider, an outside party who could be an earth sign or a water sign. A uh, strong emphasis on Taurus and Cancer. Especially if you're dealing with an air sign. They could also be dealing with yet another air sign as well. But I do see conversations happening here, getting a clear understanding. And I definitely feel, again, man's rejection, Kathy, is God's protection. You guys are moving on to something beautiful here. First off, you got how many fucking aces on the board? You got three aces on the board. Look at this one here. Coins going to be looking damn good. New opportunities, okay? For some of you all, I'm hearing career changes. You're going to be having some good sex in the month of August. The passion, things that you're passionate about, a new passion, opportunity. Some of y'all also may be moving, get an opportunity to move and leave a situation. Having clear cut communication with someone, knowing, knowing what both of you guys expect up front, what you will allow. Some of you guys need to let that damn cancer in. Some of y'all is a fire sign, every single Sagittarius. Some of y'all that earth sign want to come back. And you got to get out your damn head about limiting what could be. This person was not stable in the past. In the month of August, if you just let them in slowly, they don't want to come in and just be trying to throw themselves in your life. No, they want to come in and slowly build with you because they know that you have this trust issue, but you have to allow it. Okay? Will you allow it, Capricorn? Will you? Will you? Hmm? I need to keep, keep my eye on y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all let me know how this resonates. This is what I got for you in the month of August. But if you guys, again, if you want to follow me on Instagram, please feel free to. Um, I'm going to try and, you know, crank it up over there. I'm really getting my shit together. And I, I'm working on stop saying try. Can't be a trying shot. I got to be a doing shot. All right? So I love you all. Much love, much light, namaste. And please forgive me for this goofy ass energy. I don't know why I feel so goofy, y'all. I feel last week I didn't feel so goofy. And I'm just going with it because it feels good. Because energy's been, it, July was, the, throw the whole July away. I, 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 I wasn't with the shits. So I'm so glad that we're moving into August, into Leo season, where everybody is shining and looking all beautiful and whatnot, and being receptive and letting the bullshit go for the beauty. <clears throat> okay. So y'all let me know how this resonates. I will see you guys back here mid-month. And I love you. Bye, y'all. Joker. <laughs>